Oh, you could see my shoulder then. Yeah, you knew I was coming. Hey, welcome to Gummy's Workshop. Uh, it's just a little quick one. Though. I'm just getting ready to go home. Yeah, I am here. I'm, I'm going to grow it out and see if I've got this big, long, white beard. Because I seem to be all whitey here. And I'm like, whoa, I'm getting old. But anyway, listen to this. You're going to love this. This is one of Davey's doings, yeah. You know, my little apprentice, Ray Mears. David Gray, he looks like a lot of people. He has this, uh, he has a shape-shifting face. He's just, I don't know what it is. He just looks like so many other people. And um, we did catch him this morning rubbing two badges together trying to start a fire. I just gave him a clipper. Anyway, listen to this, listen. You're going to like this. I mean, don't get me wrong, this, this would drive me mad at the show, right? Battery level. I've got to show you the dwell, you're going to love this. Quickly, let me just, uh, can program off the trigger, but I haven't got it set up. Germans, techno. <laughs> Listen. Goes up the tower. Eh? <laughs> oh, you can see why, you know, with my strange attitude, that I'd really, be, I'd really like that. I really, really do. I really dig that. I hope you've really enjoyed that. Something else I've been messing around with. I don't know if I've put this up yet or not. Uh, you know, in your workshop, you always have a, you always have what we call a workshop knife, right? Whether it's a little folding knife or whatever like that. And uh, I've always wanted to make my own knife. And uh, you know, I like a bit of steel, and I like a bit of quality steel. Oh, 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 oh yeah, baby. Yeah, it's uh, it's tall steel. It's in the shape of a Skinner. And believe it or not, I actually made this out of an app. Uh, that is actually been hand carved out of an axe head. Uh, um, I've softened the spine so it, it's not as brittle through its centre, but the cutting edges are still like fucking Rockwell 70. You know, you can't you can't touch them with a centre punch. Centre punch just drops off, and you can't drill it either. The metal's too hard to drill. You have to mill. And uh, done all this, absolutely no heat involved in any of the process. So none of the characteristics of the metal has been affected. And uh, quite literally, oh yeah, <laughs> it's good. Um, I want to do a few of them. Uh, I've shown it to a few people and I've gone, fucking hell, that's good. And then they're like, shit man, that's sharp. And I'm like, yeah, what's more, why kill that bit of metal over there? Well, now look at the cutting edge, there's no damage to it. So, um, I don't know what metal this is. And, um, I don't want to do the full metalology. I don't do all that, any fucking pickling and colouring and heating and seeing what colour it comes off at what temperature. Um, that was a long time ago. And, tell the truth, I probably couldn't even remember my Rockwell scale if I tried. And I don't have a spectrometer and... and <laughs> it's hard! So uh, I might make a few more of them, and the perfect uh, thing that I've found to make them out of, because what I'll do is I'll go and buy a parent metal, um, and it's going to be meat cleaver, Chinese meat cleaver. They're already tempered, they're already come in a nice shape, they're already stainless steel, and I'm just going to take out of that the shape I want. So if you want one, come and have a chat. They're going to be nice, man. Uh, carbon fibre scales, all that sort of thing. And I don't do all polished and all that. It's it's a working kit. Yeah, it's going to be a bit bigger than this one. Um, got some uh, got some motorcycle projects as well. I'm going to be getting into this year. This is all because um, I'm sort of going to be dropping down to three days a week here in the workshop. Uh, paintball seasonal, right? And it gets a bit quiet. 
and uh, it's a, you know, I'm a nice chap, rather than anyone who employs me having to come up and say, look, oh bloody hell, I can't, I can't afford to keep you all the time, because this must be quite difficult for an employer, I've been an employer, yeah, but I, I was the best employer in the world, man. I used to buy my staff, cook breakfast every day, and as long as they come in and did their nine to five, they could do whatever days they wanted. So if they'd been out on the lash on Friday, they didn't have to come in Saturday, or vice versa. You know, didn't have to come in Monday, but they'd have to do the next Saturday, etc., etc. I was the best fucking boss in the world. Sorry, YouTube, didn't mean to swear. Sometimes, you know, cockney lad just slips out, doesn't it? But I've got it back in again, know what I mean? <laughs> so, with that, because I, I'm sure I get, I have younger viewers, and it, it's not clever or big to use rude words, all right? <laughs> so, uh, I'm off home now. <laughs> got to go drive home in the snow, but there's nothing I haven't done before. Until next time, um... We'll see you later. <laughs> I can't think of anything else. And, uh, oh, I'll tell you what, just a quick pick up. I've got a fantastic customer in the States. Oh, actually, you know, I've got quite a few customers in the States. But there's one. His name is Zach. Hey, Zach. And Zach is having a little boy. Fantastic. <laughs> hey. Good luck on you, mate. And, um, went all Australian then. Uh, I'm going to hassle Lux and see if I can't get a tiny, tiny, tiny T-shirt. I said they don't actually make them, but I'm going to tell them it's for me. <laughs> Hopefully, never know, might get one. Until next time, I'll see you all later.